hi everyone happy to be here in this video i'm going to make a tutorial about how to how to create a transmission range simulation in this drone game let me explain it to you but i need to reduce the volume of this drone audio oh it's so loud okay let me stop it uh, here drone i have this audio i'm going to reduce its volume to 0 0.5 the yeah the idea is if my drone goes away too far away from me from the player it will show the signal icon like this if it is too far away the signal should be low like this one and if the drone is close enough I will show this icon the full bar signal icon okay I'm going to start with the oh yeah if you did not watch my previous tutorial previously I I was making this tutorial about the battery battery bars icon yeah you can check it out and this one will be about the signal or the transmission strength signal whatever okay it, here is my drone script and I'm going to edit the script here I will add a public float variable public float current distance okay this current distance current distance I will set its value here on the update current distance equals to fact factor 3 the distance this distance between the player and the drone so I will need two object here first is the player and the second is the the drone okay the let me check okay this game object is the parent of the drone drone is inside this game object let's say this object is the player so I will add a public no not public just game object game object player I will name it drone player okay the drone player here I will define it drone player drone player is transform parent hang on I need to check unity forum I need to find the parent of game object what should I type mm, parent the transform dot parent dot game object okay here I will type transform dot parent dot game object drone player is transform dot parent transform dot parent dot game object all right I have the drone player object now and I'm going to measure the distance between the drone player and the drone itself the drone itself will be uh, transform dot position oh yeah I need to add drone player dot transform dot position 
I had a tutorial about measuring the distance between two objects in Unity. If you check my channel, here is my channel, guys. Find out about distance. You will find this video. I did a tutorial previously. In an object, with uh, yeah. Let me check my own script. Yeah, transform dot position. Vector three dot distance it takes two parameters first one is the game object one and the second one is the second game object and this should be correct but this turn should be capital D alright then I will show the value of current distance in the debug in the console debug debug dot log run this time this times to check what is my current distance okay guys let me run the game uh, thrown here take a look at this variable current distance it will show us the distance between this drone and the player right now the distance is to 0 0.215 let me go up now the distance is 6 let me go farther hmm. I will experiment with uh, what should be the maximum distance between the player the, between the player and the drone. So I'm going to go this far, I think. Is it far enough? Around 200 units okay I think it is enough 200 okay guys so I will make a public float variable another public float variable <coughs> here I will call it max distance and by default the value should be 200 F okay <coughs> and then I want to show the distance percentage so no what should I say whatever let me work with these icons the signal bars if you if you see my canvas here I have this battery UI and because I'm going to show the signal strength of the drone I will add another image UI here this one is bad and this one will be the signal I place it here somehow like this guys for the signal I will change the image to be this one yep maybe the size the size is let me reduce the size yeah about it's it's fine mm -hmm. ui signal now let me edit my script this one is which one this one image battery image 
I'm going to do the same thing as what I did in my previous video public image signal image public sprite signal one two three four two three four and let me go back here let me go up here I need to set the references of this signal image the signal image element UI element should be this one and the sprite this is the first one second one third and the last one now what should I do here inside the update let me think a while let me think a while after measuring the distance I'm going to check mm. We can do everything here, but let me do it a, a simple way. Uh, I'm going to divide the max distance, divide it by four, right? So here maybe I should add if statement if current this distance yeah current, current distance let me check my previous script more than 0 more than 25 yeah current distance if it is more than uh, max distance divided by 4 yeah what should we do here if it is greater than current this max distance divided by 4 max distance divided by 4 just let's say if the max distance is 100 if it is divided by 4 it will be 25 just same like this one because max distance I make it variable uh, I can change it later so I will divide it by 4 yeah whatever so here I'm going to set the sprite of the signal image to be that sprite to be signal 1 and I will do the rest of things just like on my previous video one more and um, yeah let me make it this way this one yeah. you can do it better right I will just do it this way max distance divided by 4 multiplied by 2 and this one multiplied by uh, okay this one just zero zero f this one here two and this one will be three and I will replace now one two, three four and let me delete this oh, just fine let it be here for a while I'm going to test it guys let's play the game oh I got an error 
line 85 what is the error ah apply to a pointer current distance is more than greater than max distance if I I mean the parent should be eh Sorry guys, wrong symbol. Okay, let me go back. Eighty five. Expected. Okay. There should not be an error anymore. Okay. Play it. Clear it. My current distance is 0 0.215. Let me go. Oh, it shouldn't be one bar. I did it. Uh, I should do it the other way. <laughs> the signal will going stronger if I go. Further, <laughs> so I need to do it the other way. Here should be four, three, two, one. Easy, right? This one will be correct. Let me run it again. Go up, 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 and go. We will be losing signal strength. You see that? If we go that far, the signal strength will be reduced. Now, two bars. one bar and so on and then what will happen if I if I lost the signal that is why you see this noise image here it is simply a, a game object and uh, what is it raw image this raw image using a render texture it is using a render texture it is here and this render texture is showing a video of this noise video so my the idea is if the drone is too far away or the battery is empty we will show this noise image I did it here when the battery is dead it will show the noise so here I will do it the same thing here if the uh, if current distance greater than max distance we should noise sec active true we show the noise image or video and then we destroy the drone destroy this dot game object okay let's test it because it is just testing I want to reduce the maximum distance to be 50 okay let let's go the signal strength four three two one and let's go a bit more yeah we're done we see this noise 
But why is this nice not playing? Nice video. Oh, I forgot to set the loop. This video should be loop. Okay, let me stop it. And here I need to make it loopable. Then run the game again. The noise video should be playing, not stopping like that. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to register the distance. Okay, it's fine. You can just skip forward the video. I will just enjoy the flying of this drone. <laughs> the drone movement is not is not nice. But I don't know how to fix it. Okay. I'm too far away and this is the signal loss. Thank you for watching this tutorial guys, see you next time on my next videos, bye bye.